Hello everybody, my name is KevGuy378 and welcome back to If My Heart Had Wings. We just uh, found, I just found out that this is an all-girls dormitory and I think I'm going back inside the, uh, the building. Creak! The front door is open slightly and the girls from just now were peeking through. Ah, um... <laughs> when I called out to them, like a surprised turtle, they pulled their faces back inside and shut the door. What should I do? Uh, what should I do about this? Well... This is the situation. Oh, lightly dressed girl is in clothes now. While I was explaining the situation, the boarding students, apart from the girl in the underwear, who was putting on some clothes, surrounded me but kept their distance and watched me. This is no good, is it? A boy being the dorm mother of a girl's dormitory. From behind the underwear girl, she was wearing clothes now, but they were pretty gaudy. There were some girls who looked like they were hiding, but they were nodding and agreeing. Oh, hello, fearful looking girl. Incidentally, there is now one more person than before. She was kind of timid and looked to be the same age, or maybe a year younger than me. Wah, what is it? Um, I'm still a student. From tomorrow, I'll be going to Keifu Academy. I'm in the second grade. Hee <laughs> hee, she said. What do you mean, hee <laughs> hee? The person who came to speak to all of you is my mother, and well, she kind of half tricked me into accepting the job as dorm mother. My mom has a job connected to real estate and her company manages this property. The person who seemed the oldest said so, and the other per people reluctantly nodded in agreement. This is just until the owner, caretaker comes back or we find someone else. I apologize for the inconvenience, but for the time being, let's all try to get along. Once the conversation was over, naturally, everyone left and went back to their door rooms. Yeah, <laughs> Um... Shigure? Did you grow up? Are you, are you from... Are you from Nikopara? <laughs><笑> Thank you very much. Was that all the boarding students? There's the underwear girl, and Kanako, who is with me now. Yuka, the tall girl with the long hair, and Sana, the girl with the glasses. The timid one who came from the back is Ryuko. That's four people all together. Oh, there's Oh, don't tell me it's it's the the girl on the wheelchair. So no, she's gonna come back. 
Oh. In other words, there are five boarders in total. This building is pretty big, but there are only five people living here. Come to think of it, my mom did say that there are quite a few empty rooms. It's old and a little far from the school, so maybe it's not that popular. <sighs> anyway, the conversation ended well, so I'll call my mother to let her know. So, in the end, we somehow worked things out. <laughs> what? What are you talking about, Mom? Oh, ah, it is the girl in the wheelchair I met earlier. Suddenly, the sound of flapping wings came from down the hallway. Then a shrill voice sounded out. Huh? Something big and white came flying down the hallway and from behind at breakneck speed. Was the girl in the wheelchair. The big white thing, which somehow seemed like a duck, was flapping its wings and flew behind me. The girl in the wheelchair avoided all the obstacles in her path, in other words, me, and chased down the duck like a drift racer. I was so overwhelmed by the speed that I couldn't say anything. The girl in the wheelchair caught the duck at my feet and snatched away a small, white cloth, possibly panties, from his beak. Oh, so it is a duck. The girl put the duck on her knee and lectured him. I remembered seeing that before. However, it's somehow a lot different to the image she had during the day. In the daytime, she seemed more dainty and delicate. However, her appearance was the same. It's not often that you see such a pretty girl. Looks like your tire is in good condition. She finally realized that there was a guy standing there. Oh, Aoi? Oh, that's, uh, that's, okay, that's his name. Aoi. Ah, oh, yeah. What was it? Sure, I got it. Okay, talk to you soon, Mom. I replied as I ended the call. She got as far as saying that, but then realized that she has a small cloth in her hand and tried to hide it by stuffing it under her backside. Oh, that's her name, Kotori chan Kanako, who was supposed to be having a bath, poked her head out. Hey, look! Hey, look! Is what it felt like she was saying as she relentlessly pointed at me. The girl known as Kotori glared at Kanako like she was interfering. I'm the new door mother, Ao Aoi Manase. Kotori seemed to meet my introduction with reluctance. Kanako 
Qua. Hat turned to face me and flapped his wings. He's a clever duck. I'm not sure if she's surprised or she's mad about that. Yes, that's right. So you are against it? If she says she doesn't like the fact that dorm mother of a girl's dormitory is a guy, or the fact that we're the same age, there's nothing I can do about it. Katori closes her eyes and, and quietly takes a deep breath as if trying to focus her mind. Katori? During the day? Which part? She stopped talking and stared at Kanako, who was standing behind listening. Kanako looked as if she was saying, okay, okay, as she disappeared down the hallway. Oh. That incident was quite startling and I remember it well. See a girl's tears from so close like that is something I don't experience very often. I don't know what she thinks about it, but those tears were very beautiful. Huh? No, not yet. Don't be so silly. When you say it like that, it just makes it even more strongly engraved in my memory. Katori strained her back, composed her expression, and smiled. And swish, with a natural gesture, she lifted her hair up. Uh, Aluo? What's Aluo? Oh, I've heard that word before. <laughs> she said that and then strained her back and made a composed smile again. Okay, that's enough. I get it, alright? Tori used just about every insult there is, then turned her weird chair around. What did I do? I don't know what I did. Then she hurriedly raced back down the hallway and back into her room. <laughs> Along the way, Hat, who had been thrown off, chased after her and entered the room through a small door, maybe a special door for ducks, built into the bottom of the main door. I looked down in disbelief. I don't need to say this, but the dainty and delicate image that she had in the daytime had completely crumbled away. A delicate bud was beginning to sprout, and we shared a fleeting love. But... Cool Aluo, right? When I remember lifting her hair and being so full of confidence, I feel like I could burst out laughing. She's so funny. From the beginning, everything's been so messed up. And tomorrow, it looks like things will start getting interesting. I really felt that prediction would come true. Prediction? Prediction. Extend the little wings which fly in the sky highly. Well, this is where I'm going to end the video guys. Everyone, thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please feel free to like it and subscribe to me. I would appreciate it so much and it would help me a lot too. 
Thank you, everybody, and I'll see you guys in the next video that I make. Goodbye!